Do you want to learn how to add a shelter box to your repeating sparrow trap to keep your birds healthy and alive? Let's learn how. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. The secret to catching house sparrows in a repeating sparrow trap is to have decoy birds in the trap. The problem with most repeating traps is the birds get stressed and die. But I have a solution. You can add a shelter box for the sparrows so they can retreat to it to escape predators, to escape bad weather, and to roost in at night. By adding a shelter box, the birds will remain healthy and in turn attract more sparrows to the trap. This is the sparrow trap in action. Look at how the house sparrows go in and out of the box. They really like it. So what is a house sparrow and why would you want to trap them? Let me explain. This is a male house sparrow that has taken over this bluebird nest box. The house sparrow, also known as the English sparrow, is an invasive introduced species in North America and elsewhere. It is an extremely aggressive bird that outcompetes native cavity nesting birds and will destroy their eggs, young, and even adults in order to use a nesting cavity or to eliminate nesting competition. They are not a protected species in North America and can be legally trapped and eliminated. For more information on house sparrows and their invasive nature, click on the link at the top of this video. So see the box on the right? That's what I added to the trap. The box is made out of one inch lumber and the top and bottom are eight inch wide lumber and the two sides are six inch wide lumber. And I just made it long enough to attach to the trap. Here's another view of the box and you can see the ends are recessed about an inch. That's so I can put these two screws in that go into the trap. I added this access door and then I put hardware cloth between the access door and the rest of the box so I can flush the sparrows out but they can't escape. Here's a view to show you how I attach the hardware cloth and you can see there's just a couple of boards that are screwed to the top and the bottom that hold the hardware cloth in place. You'll notice the two inch hole going into the box and I did have to cut an opening from the trap to the box. Now if I want to remove a bird from the trap I need to flush the birds out of the shelter box into the trap and cover the hole. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I just take a scraper, I flush the birds out, and then I take the scraper and slide it down. Come on birds, get out, get out, get out, get out. So there I've got a few of them trapped outside of the box. So I can reach in then through the access door to get them. And then when I want to let them go, go back in the box, I just remove the scraper and they'll go right back in. Go in. They really like the box. I'm going to show you some other modifications I made to the trap just to make it easier to use. I added this board here and then this handle and I centered it in the center of gravity so when I lift the trap up I can easily move it and it doesn't tip. Then I added hardware cloth here, here, and here so I can sprinkle seed on it and the wind won't blow it away. And then I added a couple dishes for food and a dish for water. And those are just peanut butter lids. Here you can see my water dish. It's just a peanut butter lid that I wired to the trap. So I added this handle and the hook so I can easily open this door. To keep the sparrows alive, I feed them cracked corn, millet, quick oats, and I give them some sand too, because they need the grit. And I have to fill these dishes about three or four times a day. They eat a lot, and I only have four sparrows in this trap. I would say keep from one to four sparrows. Any more is too many. I got my original decoy bird from trapping one in a nest box trap. Once I put him in here, I've caught three more sparrows, and I've only got six sparrows visiting the yard. What's nice about having the box attached to the trap is it gives a place for the sparrows to retreat to for safety. Say there's a predator like a, a hawk 
that's after them. They can just fly into the box for safety. Say it's raining or bad weather, they can go into the box for shelter. And at night, they can use it as a place to roost. So it really keeps the sparrows happy and healthy. For more videos like this one, consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell widget below the video to be notified when I publish a new video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.